Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode 670. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to have former NFL player, actor, and first male winner of America's Next Top Model, Keith Carlos, on the show. Before we get started, I want to remind you that you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. Let me give you the phone number now so you can uh, decide if you want to pre-program it into your phone. It's 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. All right. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And if, please go to my office Facebook page and like us. That would be awesome. Also, all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. And we're streaming live on Facebook. All right. So as I mentioned, we have Keith Carlos with us again today. Keith's been on several times before. It's nice catching up. Actually, he came in to have some dental work done. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyway, Keith, so welcome to the show, and thanks for uh, getting up and being on the show with me. Hey, Doc. Thanks for having me. <laughs> he's trying. He's he's pretending to be in pain, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, I'm all good. Thanks, Doc. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. Yeah, because we did some fillings. We did, uh, let's see, we did we did three fillings on Friday, and we placed an implant, right? Yeah, yeah. It went, uh, went smoothly, as usual. And yeah, I don't know where those cavities come from. You know, I, I wasn't even eating any candy. I don't know. It's weird. Well, it talks to what I've said many times on this show, which is people don't know they have a cavity until we find it for them. Now, you were getting a little bit of discomfort, which was making us both think you might need a root canal, but for the most part, cavities just sneak in there. You don't even know they're there, and that's why it's important to go to the dentist on a regular basis. Now, it's hard for Keith to come every six months, but he's been coming at least yearly, right? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, It's just amazing that I was able to come out here during this pandemic. You know, made us really nervous, but we got here really safe. And um, I'm just thank you for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. And and by the way, one of the reasons uh, Keith is here, besides his dental care, is we knew, my wife and I knew him and Monica and KJ were being safe. They hadn't gone anywhere. They've been super, super careful. The other thing is, is, did you fly Delta? No, we flew American. Flew American. Okay. Well, the airlines, I know Delta, for example has instituted the use of the same CASPER units that we have at the dental office. And remember, that stands for Continuous Air and Surface Pathogen Reduction. So the airlines are doing a lot of things to make people feel safe. And Delta installed the same equipment in their jets. I don't know what American did, but I also know the airlines are exchanging the air every two to three minutes with fresh air to make people safer and feel more safe. So once you got past that and knew that you would be safe, that was that was good. Of course, you guys all wore your mask the entire way. And then once he came to the office, we were all wearing masks and gowns and hat and gloves and you could barely recognize us, right? Exactly. <laughs> they had on like a whole like force field around them. <laughs> you never saw me with like cloth on my head. Oh my goodness. I thought you were like really going into like a huge surgery. <laughs> <laughs> well, it kind of was because it was an implant, but but no, not really. Okay, so what have you been up to? Tell me uh, since we last saw you. I know you've done some modeling gigs. Tell me about those first. Yeah, um, you know, I, I model full time. So modeling gigs have been pretty consistent. Then, you know, we hit a huge pandemic where work actually stopped. You know, there was no modeling, no acting uh, for about, you know, five months. And um, things are finally picking back up. But they're smaller, smaller sets. So we have, I want to say, up to seven to ten people on each set now instead of 50. uh, Everybody, you know, spaced out and taking safety precautions to keep everyone safe. And, 
yeah, work's picking up uh, with with that and re- with that regards to modeling and acting. Uh, I stayed busy during my quarantine by fixing up my yard. Did a whole renovation of my front and backyard. That was an experience. Thank you to YouTube University where I learned everything. <laughs> Yeah, we kept sharing photos of each other's projects because we were working around our house, too. And so I'd show him something that we'd done around our fire pit, and he'd show me his fire pits. Like, well, your fire pit's better than my fire pit, right? <laughs> yeah, of course, Dr. Gavico won that competition. But uh, I did my best. Overall, you know, it was a, a good time just to uh, spend time with family and take a step back and, you know, breathe and just be home. Right. Now, I don't know that we actually won the competition. I haven't seen yours yet, <laughs> other than pictures. Yeah, you, you definitely won. I've seen yours. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, so are you able to talk about some of the, the things you've modeled for, like the, the products? Uh, yeah. My no, my most recent uh, campaign has been the Rihanna Fenty, Fenty Wear. It was men's lingerie. She introduced uh, men's wear, and uh, I had to actually gain some weight for that. So I'm really not excited about that, although the, the pictures are good and it went viral on the Internet for a while for uh, body body shaming. So people don't body shame each other. They try to include everybody. It's like all inclusive. No, no discrimination on how, you know, your body's shaped or. Right. So they actually wanted you to get rid of your your uh, abs, right? Your six point abs. Yeah, I definitely had to get rid of that. I put on about 20 pounds and uh I was a, a fat boy up there. <laughs> and now you're getting rid of that, right? Yes, definitely. I've been shedding weight and getting back to my normal routine. So, yeah, uh, that's been cool. i also been consistent with a couple of jean companies like Hudson and Joe's Jeans. If you're familiar with those, they're L.A.-based. They're premium, premium brand jeans. And, yeah. So when you did Fenty, how do you spell Fenty? F-E-N-T-Y. Okay, so somebody wants to look up uh, Fenty wear? Fenty wear? Fenty menswear, yeah. You just go to the Fenty website, I believe it's Fenty.com, and you can go to the men's tab and check out the the pictures there. So they'll see your pictures? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> 20 pounds overweight, which probably still looks 100% better than I do. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, he agreed pretty easily for that. Uh, I don't even think he's even seen me with my shirt off, but he can imagine. Come on. You look pretty in shape, man. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So now, did you happen to get to meet Rihanna? I didn't. I didn't. In my dreams, though. You know, she's still you know, my, my girlfriend, number two. After your wife? After my wife. Okay. And does your wife know about this? Um, I'm pretty sure she'll be okay with it. Uh, She's Rihanna. <laughs> okay. Enough said, right? Yeah, I get a pass for Rihanna and, and Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Who does she get a pass for? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody but me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. So then, let's see. Now, you had done The Bold and the Beautiful. And it turned out that was uh, it ran for how many episodes? And then your character was kind of, uh, they were done with you. Um, how many episodes? I don't remember how many episodes, but a lot of them. I know it's over like 16 or 20. However, they did call me in during, towards the end of the pandemic. And I wasn't so sure if I wanted to be enclosed in a building, you know, during those times. Um, so I, I passed on on that shooting. And as of lately, you know, I haven't been called in yet, but I'm still on the wire for, you know, to be called in for more episodes. So, okay. Are you finding when you turn something down, it piques their interest and they call you back more? They're more likely to call you back. Or do you worry that when you turn something down, they're just going to move on to somebody else? Yeah, it's it's hard to turn down opportunity because opportunity is slim nowadays. However, sometimes there's power in it. And um, I know and I have faith in myself and and that God will you know put the right things before me and when I do do it it tends to uh make them want you more okay okay so there's a chance the folks that do bold and the beautiful will have another role for you at, at some point yeah most definitely or the same role okay they might for revive Danny yeah bring them back I mean I didn't die out you know I just took a break the weather changed it's winter okay because you were at the bikini bar I was at the bikini bar you know so they have to open up a winter bar or something <laughs> Okay, so when when they decide that it's summer again, they might actually film some more episodes uh, from the Bikini Bar. That's cool. And then I guess the other thing is, so you do, I saw one that you were doing where you were jumping on a trampoline on top of a building. What was that about? Oh, the trampoline. That was actually for uh, La Flair magazine. Uh, It's an L.A.-based magazine, and I was shooting an editorial uh, for them there. And uh, we were on top of a a 42-foot building. uh, 42-story building? A 42 
story building. And we were jumping on a trampoline. Every time you jumped in the air, it felt like you were going to fall off the edge of the building, which was really exciting. And those pictures came out amazing. You know, they really did. I got to see them. And, and I think every story is 10 feet. So if you're telling me 42 stories, that's like 420 feet up in the air. Yeah, very high. Very, very high. Are you afraid of heights? Um, sometimes, depending on how close I'm to an edge. Okay, and only when you're on a 420-foot tall building, probably. Right, in the air with no wings and nothing else around you, yes, for sure. Okay, and that was La Flair. Yeah, La Flair magazine. Okay, so if somebody could go and they could see was it the cover, or what? how would they find your picture there? Um, yeah, you just go to the magazine or you go to the Instagram page at La Flair and you can uh, see the pictures there. Okay, so it looks like it's about time for us to go to a break. And what we're going to do, actually, not so much a break, but we're going to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. So you might remember that uh, I think maybe a good thing to remember would be that Keith's one of his most recent uh, jobs was working for Fintyware. It's a line of men's lingerie launched by Rihanna. And we're going to find, I think the question might be, did uh, Keith get to uh, meet Rihanna doing the shoot? All right, before we do the contest, though, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Okay, today we've been talking with Keith Carlos. One of the modeling jobs he did recently was for Rihanna's line of men's lingerie called Fenty Wear. During that shoot, did Keith get to meet Rihanna? A, yes, or B, no. All right, the winner's going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it, though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said people don't take the time. Hey, people don't take the time. Hi, this is Keith Carlos, former NFL player, actor, and first male winner of America's Next Top Model. I got a question for you. Do you know how many dentists there are between here and Los Angeles? Well, I don't know either, but I fly over every one of them just to see Dr. Kavico on a regular basis. Check out my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on my Instagram page, at Keith Carlos. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Well, we reopened back on May 1st, and I'm happy to say that things are going very well. Our patients are receiving the same great care we've always provided, and we are placing a huge emphasis on infection control. In addition to face shields, like the one I've worn since 1985, and of course exam gloves, my entire team is wearing surgical gowns and caps, and we are limiting the number of patients we have in the office at a time. I'm also happy to report that there's not been a single incident of COVID-19 associated with our office. Call us at 614-262-9588. I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico & Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavico & Associates today, 614-262-9500. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, Are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? (laughs) That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. We have four callers on the line. Keith, can you pick a number between one and four? Uh, 16. 
All right, 16. <laughs> I think we might have to divide that by four, and we'll call that four. How's that? Two. Two. <laughs> okay, caller number two it is. All right, so is it Brandy? Yes. Hi, Brandy. Thank you for listening. Thank you for calling in. Do you have the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? It was B, no. That's correct. That's correct. Good job. Good job. So, Brandy, what do you do for a living? I work in an urgent care. Urgent care? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for what you do. That's awesome, taking care of all those urgent needs. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, stay on the line because we need to get information where to send you those flowers from DeSantis, okay? Awesome. Okay, sounds great. Thank you so much. All right, if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile. It's episode 670. And with me is Keith Carlos, the first male winner of America's Next Top Model. And he's also been on uh, CBS's Bold and Beautiful. He's done uh, many photo shoots. We didn't talk about it earlier, but you were in um, Cardi B's music video, the song called um, Be Careful. Yeah, Be Careful, yeah. And you were in a coffin? I, I did jump in the coffin. You were in the coffin the whole shoot? No, nah, just towards the end. It was pretty comfortable. That's what I, yeah, I, I, was, I was asking him off the air, what was it like being in a coffin the whole time there shooting that video? And he goes, actually, his legs were hanging out, and he was just the only one that got to lay down. Everyone else was standing. Yeah, and it was and it was about I want to say 102 degrees in that church. It was like really hot in the middle of the desert. Oh my goodness, no air conditioning. I had a fan. You did. I had a fan. I had a fan. Okay, and it, did it blow your hair around? Um, not too much. I had a hat on. I had a hat on, so you know. <laughs> he, he shaves his head. <laughs> anyway, so okay, so we did uh, Cardi. Now Cardi B, be careful. Um, not necessarily recommending everybody go listen to that song because it's potty mouth. But uh, if you are of a mind to go uh, check out the video, that is Keith in the coffin. Okay, so then we t- we talked a little bit over the summer, even though you haven't been to the office in what ten months, eleven months. Uh, we stay in touch, and so we had a couple of phone conversations over the summer the summer of unrest with Black Lives Matter. And it really, really um, struck a chord with, with you, didn't it? Most definitely. Yeah, and so did you actually went out and did some protesting? Not at all. Um, I'm kind of a all-in type of person, so I, could, I couldn't, you know, protest peacefully. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'd rather not protest at all. And, uh, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. COVID, all that, I have a kid at home. It just wasn't worth it. Okay, but if you could have, you would have. Most definitely. You had some friends that did? For sure. I had some friends that definitely went out there, and uh, I did some social media protesting. Oh, you did? Okay, you posted it. Yeah, posted, and, um, you know, that's where a lot of the masses are on social media nowadays, so I have a big following, so that helps. Yeah, Keith has 1.1 million followers. Yeah, on, on Instagram, yeah. <laughs> that's about 1,999,000 more than I have. <laughs> Come on. I, you don't even follow me. Yes, I don't. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think I have an Instagram page. <laughs> Come on, it's 2021. We're just going to skip past this year. So it's 2021, and you need an Instagram page. Like, this is beyond me. Okay, maybe you can set me up while you're here. For sure, we can do that. Okay. All right. What? I said, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anything new and exciting coming up? Um, you know, I know you get calls. I'm surprised to learn that you don't have an agent. Because I could have sworn you had told me I had my agent called this or my agent my agent called. You just call them your agent because it's uh, these are friends that you have in the business who kind of know of you. And so when you say my agent called, it's like could be a different person three different days in a row, right? Well, it depends on the job. I have uh, acting agents. I mean, I have modeling agents and commercial agents, separate businesses, separate uh, accounts and separate uh work so i don't have a theatrical agent which is for the acting oh okay okay so you do have an agent for those two but not for when you get a call for a tv show correct correct or a movie or a movie okay and so far that's working out so far it's working out i like to do things at my own speed out in la people get really overwhelmed with you know wanting to become this huge actor so i just kind of do it at my own speed if it comes it comes if it doesn't it doesn't and i work on other things because my long-term goal is to be a business mogul and the acting the modeling is just for the notoriety and uh, the brand so it helps grow the other businesses most definitely yes now i think we have time to touch on no no, okay, let's go ahead and we'll touch on what is one of the businesses that you are um, getting going on. Well, I have a, where do I begin? Okay, I have a uh, 
production company, a multimedia marketing company. It's it's called Dream Catchers Enterprise, and we create marketing and branding content for different companies, and we help them uh, build their social media, and we help them just create content for their brand. Okay, is that what you meant when you said we should do a video when you're here? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm here. I was like, I, I got my camera with me. We might as well, you know, do some work. Okay. We'll have to see. We'll have to decide what he wants to shoot. It's not shirtless, is it? Yeah, we, we actually have, yeah, we definitely need some pictures of Dr. Kavico with his shirt with his shirt off. <laughs> I don't think we need that. Okay, so um, so that's one company. What's the other one or others? Uh, the others I have, I actually, during the pandemic, I started a, a CMOS company called Sela CMOS. Spell that, please. S-E-L-A-H CMOS, S E A. S E Moss. See, okay, you got it right. C Moss. Okay, and um, I know what it is because we talked about it over the summer. But tell everybody else what is that? C Moss is a super nutrient found in the ocean. It has 92 of the 102 minerals that your body needs on a daily basis. It, it has hundreds of health benefits. Uh, if you want to check those out, go to the website at Sela C Moss. That's at s e l a h s e a m o s s dot com, cmos dot com. I have all the tabs on how to use the cmos and what what the benefits are. Okay, cool. That seems like a nice t- spot for us to take a break. And when we when we come back, I want to talk a little more about any other ventures you have going or things you might have on the horizon, as well as maybe a little bit of we'll talk some teeth too. So, you're listening to the reasons we smile with Dr. Kavitko with Keith Carlos. And we'll be right back. You can take me as I am. Not just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, cause you're too much for me. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? Okay, we're back. Thanks for staying with me. Keith, thanks for hanging in there with me as well. Yeah, I'm here. I'm still here. (laughs) A little distracted, but he's here. (laughs) What'd you do? You just get a thing from your agent? No, email popped up, so I had to check. (laughs) Hey, you know it's live, folks. (laughs) Right. This is is the real thing. Okay, so yeah, tell me what's on the horizon. I know that you're contemplating a role. You may not take it, but uh, and without naming names because nothing's. Uh, you may not even take it, but I just think people want to hear what kind of things come your way. I get um, I get auditions all the time uh, for major feature films and TV shows. So uh, the industry's changed a lot, where everything's being done at home, self tapes, and you know they give you the breakdown, and you have to film it on your own and send it in, and. Um, I've been lucky to get a lot of those over pandemic, over the pandemic, and uh, I have yet to. I, well, I land, I land one out of I'll say uh, one out of three. This uh, one I was real close. I got to the the third round of uh, auditions, which is really good because that was the biggest uh, one I had. It was a twenty three million dollar budget film, and uh, I just missed it. But it's all right. You know, I don't really you know take everything to heart. Just take them as they come and. Uh, yeah, I just just been uh, waiting for the next gig as far as acting and just you know rolled the punches. 
Yeah, it's an interesting thing because on one hand, you would think he would be nervous about where's my next gig coming from? How am I going to pay my bills? But on the other hand, it appears that bills are paid and you're getting a chance to spend a lot of time with your son and your, your wife and you have a new new baby coming in February, another son. And, and so you're going to look back someday and just, just be so happy you had this time. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, being in the industry, you realize you don't have control over you anything any jobs everything subjective so if i stress about you know what what gig i do and don't get you'll break you know it's just too much eat you alive huh yeah for sure so i just kind of let everything roll off me if i take it i mean if i get it i'll get it if i don't i don't and i just give everything my all and you know um if i don't get it then there's something better in the horizon yeah i think that way too that doesn't mean i give up on the first time somebody says no when i when somebody tells me no i hear maybe or actually the first time they tell me no i hear yes yeah, 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 for sure. The next time they tell me no, I hear maybe. <laughs> exactly. And then another time or two, it's like, okay, this isn't going to work. But um, try to stay positive and, you know, always be looking out for the next thing and, and be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Putting yourself in the right position at the right time. Yeah, you definitely have to have resilience. And I get that from, from playing sports, being resilient and knowing how to take adversity and treat triumph and disaster the same. So I just want to tie in some dentistry a little bit more. How important would you say your beautiful smile and your healthy teeth and gums are t- to your livelihood? How important? Yeah. Would you have these opportunities if you had Billy Bob teeth is another way of asking? <laughs> I actually one top model with some bad teeth. You what? I one top model with bad teeth. You one top model with bad teeth? Yes. What would you do? Turn your head to the camera the, re- the same way? I mean, like with my gaps, I would stick my tongue behind my teeth so that when I did smile, it looked like all whites on the picture. But... You know, I have my little tricks and, you know, I, w- I would I would use other things like my eyes or body or angles to to hide those things. But now that my teeth are 100, it just gives you a whole level of uh, confidence. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the camera angle anymore. Right. Right. And you don't have to worry about speaking up. Cool. Very cool. You know, I also wanted to mention that uh, Keith's wife, Monica, we took care of her as well on this trip. So um, both of them are having a little bit of post-operative uh, things to deal with. Although with Monica being pregnant, she, uh, she didn't take anything, not even a Tylenol. That is one tough woman uh, <laughs> that she can do that. It's, uh, and so on one hand, I, you know, I love having them come to visit. And on the other hand, it's always a dental visit. So I, I feel bad if, uh, if I've had to do some surgery. But we did actually do a gum graft on uh, Monica actually redoing one that was done somewhere else by someone else and they didn't uh, even try to cover the root and she was like wait a minute why is the root of my tooth all visible and we were afraid she was going to lose it so we went ahead and uh, did a graft and she's a trooper and their little boy KJ is uh, so so fun and so cool and so polite it's just really neat uh, to have them and to have them as friends so anyway yeah I just um, uh, enjoy having Keith, Monica and KJ come and visit and uh, uh, I hope that we continue this. So, yeah, that does look like it's pretty much all the time we have. I'm looking at my producer, and he's shaking his head as usual. <laughs> so, Keith, again, thank you so much. After the show, let's go out and have some fun with you and your son, and uh, maybe we can uh, you can ride in the uh, forklift that I have. Yeah, or I could get you in front of my camera with your shirt off so we could get you a nice picture for your office. <laughs> you trying to shut my office down or what? <laughs> We could get you a new uh, a new profile picture, you know. <laughs> anyway, okay, he's he's clearly delirious. Uh, <laughs> all right, okay. Well, thanks again, and thanks everybody for tuning in. I really appreciate it. It looks like that is all the time we have. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dr. Kavitko, and if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us. That would be awesome. And what is your page again, Keith? At Keith Carlos. Got it. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to thereasonswesmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588. 
or send an email to speaking at the